I don't know if they're really considering these special populations and the, the needs that they have. While most schools in the greater Montreal area are staying closed until the fall, special education schools like the McKay Center and Philippi Layton have the green light to open on June 1st. But some teachers say they don't have enough time or guidance to prepare. These children are just especially vulnerable, and now they're being asked to come back to school just for like three weeks. The Quebec government backtracked on plans to open schools in the Montreal area on May 14th. Special education teacher Emma Bryans found out on Thursday this doesn't apply to schools for children with motor, speech or sensory disabilities. She chose not to disclose the school she works at, but says teaching her students safely in the classroom isn't easy. The activities that we do are very hands-on. You can't picture a traditional class where the teacher is standing at the front of the class and um, lecturing on a topic or even handing out worksheets on a topic. For Brian, students, many who are nonverbal and have disabilities, sharing toys and doing activities close together are the norm. She's trying to adapt her curriculum to respect social distancing in the classroom, but says she hasn't gotten any help. So that's something that's definitely lacking, I think, from the ministry standpoint as well. Like, um, Nothing was really fed down to us in terms of how we can modify our curriculum, especially for our children with special needs. There are more than a dozen special education schools in the Montreal area. Quebec's education ministry didn't respond in time for comment, but the English Montreal School Board says they're expecting 36 out of the 170 students back at the McKay Centre and Philippi e. Layton School. With only a few days to prepare, Brian says it's too soon. You know, opening for three weeks, you know, while I understand that it's it's giving a relief to parents and um, it's giving the children, you know, some social social life that they have have been lacking. Um, I think if we were able to focus on really preparing them for the long term, I think that would be much more beneficial for them. The Commission Scolaire de Montréal says the administration of its specialized schools will be contacting affected parents directly about next steps. In Montreal, Sharon Yonin-Reynolds, City News.